Okay, collective. I'm back, y'all. All right, so let's do a general. Let's see what messages we get for the collective. If you're new, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. We welcome you. If this video resonates with you, be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment below, as well as share with your family and your friends. All right, collective message and a general message just means that whatever pops out, that's what we're going to discuss. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that is not available at the moment. They aren't available. They have, um, they aren't returning calls. They aren't responding to messages. Or this person is just like going MIA. This person has you on their mind heavily. Sometimes they like, they think about you. They stay up late thinking about you. Um, they're wishing that they would have treated you better. They wish that there was something that they could do to change the situation. But at this time, they feel helpless. Like there's nothing that they can do to change the situation. This person likes to um, hide behind material things. They like to um, possibly like buy you gifts or or you see them, they like to be flashy, but this is to hide their insecurities. This person is very insecure. This person um, likes to mask who they really truly are. They're trying to blind you with uh, superficial things that kind of make up for their lack of, okay? This person feels like you're walking away, um, that you could be leaving them for good, that you are, you know, forgetting about them so they're waiting for some type of sign from you okay they're waiting for some type of sign for you if you give them some type of sign or any type of hey i'm here then they'll they'll pop back up in your life but they're they aren't available because i feel like you aren't available they don't know any other way to kind of handle the situation um they're just trying to keep it trucking moving moving forward pretend like they don't care um and just hiding behind material things but the fact of it is is they sit up all night and think about you all the time all the time like this person is weird how they're moving it seems like this person is like kind of like a coward. <laughs> but there could be something in the situation that this person know that they did and they know that um, they crossed a certain boundary with you. I'm trying to light this sage, y'all. So. Okay. So let's find out what, what went on, what happened. Let's use, let's use the in my feelings. Let's see. Give me more to this. Show me the person's energy. is in bed a lot this could be their current energy um they have some like nervous energy they're nervous of what to say nervous of what you're going to say if they reach out to you they look at you as divine feminine for sure i feel like this is someone that you could live with y'all were together like exclusive um but somebody loves to clear their head okay somebody loves to clear their head some this masculine um, it's very playful. They play a lot. And they're, they could be out dealing with karmics, okay? So this is why they're cautious of coming around, back around to you, because they're, they're operating from their ego, okay? They're operating from their ego. And they could be worried that this could uh, cause some stress and tension in the connection with you. 
So they're doing this to kind of like do their own thing and clear their head. Okay. Yeah. Why is this person not available? I'm getting like this person is kind of like scared of you in some way, shape, or form. Like, not like, oh my God, I'm scared. Oh, she is just kind of like, you make this person nervous. You make this person nervous. Like, this person is nervous around you. Why is this person not available? All right, so the truth of the matter is they don't want you to gain, gain some type of truth because they feel like you'll be heartbroken if you were to find out the truth about them and what they are doing. They got a lot of different other... They're playing the hand. They're playing their hand right now. We got kisses, unconditional loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. They could have fell in love some with someone else, okay, because we got hand of cards. This situation is going to end... Um, we got the Grim Reaper. This situation is going to end and they are going to separate. But the thing about it is, is, is that by the time that this happens, you could be dating someone else. You could be dating someone else and here they come trying to separate and break up what you got going on. But this is just a mirror effect. Okay. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. What else? Why else is this person not available? Yeah, seduction. They're dealing with a third party. They're dealing with a third party. This is attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. And that's the truth. That's the clarity that they don't want you to get this is why they're over here nervous because they know that you're the divine feminine but they're dealing with karmics okay we got not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry yeah this person is still angry upset um and they aren't in a good place right now they're avoiding talking to you because they're dealing with the karmic so this is why they aren't available Why are they hiding behind material things? They're hiding behind material things um, with hand of cards. They're taking a chance. They took some type of risk. They're being super strategic. They're looking at all their options and they're not showing their hand. They're gambling. All right. So they are just really like just, just gambling, taking risks. They out here really taking risk, really. Like wherever, wherever the boat floats, this is where this person is. Whoever is doing the most, I feel like this person is going through some type of transformation. Um, yeah, it's, things aren't as they seem. I'm hearing that too. It's like things aren't as they as they seem. This is this person's time to to fly. To we got the dragonfly and clock. This person feels like this is their time to blossom and be lighthearted and be free. Um, to make some changes as well. They feel like this is their time. Why are they nervous? Yeah, they're nervous because they're being separated from you. Okay, so this is something different for them. They wear a mask. This person wears a mask. They like, try to play tough and try to... Um, we got mirror, mirroring each other. Self-image relationship reflects on, reflects our wounds, introspection. This person is wearing a mask. They have some type of addiction to you and they're spying on you. Hoping that you aren't 
um, being passionate with someone that maybe that they could be close to or people around they they may feel like you're very very um, attractive so you can have anybody that you want they're hoping like nobody close to them comes around and stabs them in the back possibly for money or the good life I feel like you live a good life with abundance in paradise here you've been ascending um, you're talking about twin flames and things and how like they, they're watching and paying attention to things that you are subscribing to things that you are um, listening to things that they see you liking or harding on social media they're piecing things together they could see one of their friends could even be like in your in your uh, heart in your pictures or liking something that you posted they're uh they're afraid of that and they're afraid of that they look at you as divine they look at you as divine energy and i don't want to see why fatigue and tired here We got the snake in love. There, you got tired of competing for your love. That's what it looks like. So they tried to stab you in the back. I feel like the chemistry between y'all is insane. We got passion and twin flame. But they're watching you. And they're also wanting to, they, for some reason, I feel like they wanted to sabotage you. They want you to feel heartbroken. They feel like you had ascended too much. Like you surpassed them. I don't think that they like that, the way that you evolved. And then you started not to chase them. Like you're not chasing them. You're going out, spending time with friends, spending money on yourself. And they're in a karmic relationship. Why is the Divine Feminine here? How do they feel about the Divine Feminine? They're heartbroken. Yeah. They are sabotaged. They feel like they have to rebuild. They are heartbroken. We got heartbroken in uh, Hammer. They could be trying to sabotage you to make you feel uh, like how you made them feel. Because I feel like you made them feel some type of way. I feel like you had them in a place where they could have been sad, lonely, or feeling depressed. Yeah, I feel like um, at one point in time, you guys' connection was full of security, stability. Um, it was a lot of growth. It was enduring. It was like in a good place. Um, until someone started engaging with someone else. Somebody started to date elsewhere. Somebody started dating somebody else. I sense that also that somebody could have been hiding who they were dating. So this masculine could have been dealing with the karmic and was hiding this karmic. Um, I see that as well. So let's see what type of action this, this masculine is going to take. Because right now it looks like they are unavailable. They're hiding out because they are dealing with someone else. I'm getting like they want you to chase them. this masculine going to take towards the divine feminine? Are they going to stay unavailable? Are they going to reach out? What type of moves are they going to be making towards this divine feminine? We got the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck and the Chariot. So they're coming with some type of truth, with some type of facts. Um... This 
masculine feels like you kind of push them out. Some of y'all actually kick this masculine out or push them out. And they feel like, oh, so you you said that you didn't want me. So what's the problem? Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Sun. Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. Lots of communication. Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Five of Swords and the Justice. Okay, so this this uh, masculine definitely to me it seems like they want their lead back. They want revenge. They want this to be... Uh, they want some kind of type of justice in a situation. They're holding on to this third party. They're holding on to this third party. They're like, okay, well, you left me out in the cold, whatever. Um, they're saying, yeah, take notes. They want you to take notes from this karmic and come find them. They want you to come find them. This, this masculine would love to work on this connection with you. But they think that they have time to play around um, and be with somebody else and do what they want to do at the moment. They feel like until you re show some type of regret, then they're going to continue on with this connection that they're in. You, They want you to show some type of regret or uh, some type of remorse or even apologize. Why is the page of cups here? Yeah, this masculine does not want to talk. They don't want to communicate right now. Yeah, because they, they're they moving on to this uh, karmic. They have moved on. Yeah, the fool. They fell for another female right here. We got the queen of pentacles and the strength. Yeah, it's temporary. It's not something that's going to last forever. It's something that's temporary. Something that he can go back and forth to. Um, But I feel like this masculine is hoping that one day y'all can get back together and work. But right now, he's in battle mode. And his intentions is to win this argument, win this battle. Like, no contact is what is, I feel like, is his ultimate goal. Yeah, see, they're waiting for you to reach out to them. Yeah, see, this this masculine wants you to to see um, that. He can close a chapter and do something new, okay? Why is the Ten of Swords here? King of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Cap Capricorn. This person uh, definitely either you betrayed this person or this person betrayed you. Somebody feel, I feel like this is this masculine, knowing that they betrayed you. Um, they did could have been, could have did this for money with this King of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles. And to gain their confidence back. This masculine knows that you're a very strong-minded uh, person. Um, and they know that you can move on from them easily. Easily. So they could be looking for, for some type of uh, female that's more on their level. Someone that they can more so control. Okay, now we got the page of wands here. 
Yeah, they said, look, we're going to talk about it one day. We're going to talk about how we feel about it one day. But their goal is to make you feel like you got to wait. They want you to wait. They feel like you think that they're slow, like like they're slowing down. They want you to feel like they're slowing down to be in this connection with this other karmic. But really deep down inside, all they want is you. They just want to make you mad. Um, they are spying on you to see if you have regrets. Like, are you regretting this? They wanted to give another person a chance to take your spot to see how you would respond, what you thought about it. Um, but they aren't, they ain't have no, at that point in time, that was their only option and that was the best option that would work in their favor, work for them. To kind of get your attention, to get you looking at them, see if you were going to miss them. I see like, you you looking at this person like, yeah, they're, they got something new going on. You could have blocked this person. Yeah, see, their intentions is the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, see. It's a lot of manipulation going on. Lots of manipulation. Yeah, this person's trying to manipulate the situation. And this person's super duper toxic. It could be a de the devil and Taurus is here. Devil and Hyphen is here. It could be a Capricorn or a Taurus. But this person is, their intentions is definitely to manipulate the situation. To try to make you chase them. See, this person wants you to chase them. The magician and the knight of swords. And fight for the relationship. But instead, I feel like you you disconnected. And until they feel some love from you, they're going to keep doing what they need to do. They were trying to get your attention. They thought that you would have said something by now. But I feel like you, you walked away. They thought you would have said something by now. Yeah. I'm getting Libra. Heavy on the Libra. They didn't never, they never would have thought that this was how it would be between y'all two. But this person is trying to show you if you make them mad, what could happen. You see what's going to happen if you do that again? Like, this person is trying to make you feel like if you do, if you walk away again, if you, it's a lot of manipulation going on. Not, not only are they manipulating you, they're manipulating the person that they're involved with because they're involved in someone in a situation that, that may be innocent, don't even know what's really going on. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.